Good evening, folks. This is Jeff Fisk with Be Still Creation, and I um, wanted to put this little video together, just make a few little odd and end parts for uh, muzzle loaders, just a factory muzzle loader. You know, I grow pretty fond of the the uh, TC custom TC Omegas that I do to shoot smokeless powder out of, and those have went over really, really well, and absolutely love building them, and I think they're they're an awesome product, but. Um, of course, I'm partial to that. It's something I, I really, really like doing. Um, so that's kind of changed my market. But I wanted to put this little video together. I've over the last year or so, I've had a couple little parts that I've posted a few places on forums and put them on my uh, Be Still page, Be Still Creations on Facebook. Um, as a lot of you know, I don't have a website and all that. I'm just mostly word of mouth travels around. I get enough calls and business that way. But um, so, a little over a year ago, probably just out of customers' needs and wants, um, in saying I do the custom TC Omegas. So, the factory TC Omega is one of the best production muzzleloaders, in my opinion, made for an inline. Um, high quality gun, been withstood, withstood this test of time. They have been made for a long time, but there's still a lot of them out there shooting. And a couple things happened. We all figured out over time, you know, you drill your. Uh, your flame channel out to keep the pressure off the 209 primer but especially with blackhorn powder the longer pressure curve and it ends up burning a flash hole out and they come with about a 28 to 30 flash hole factory and when they get up what I seems to be my my feeling a lot of the others came to the same to the same understanding when the flash hole got around 35 38 accuracy started to suffer um, we got up to 40 then you know I mean it started over pressuring primers and and then the headspace is not absolutely perfect with using federal primers in a, and I recommend using federal 209A primers in with using Blackhorn in your factory TC Omega. So that being said, when the flash hole burns out, you got to replace the breech plug. <coughs> Some of the old breech plugs was flat face. Some of the originals, they wasn't as great for lighting up Blackhorn in cold weather. Then they put a, a cup nose on it or kind of a, a concave I guess you call it or a dome to get some of the powder down in there a smaller area of powder to hit the, the primer spark with or the flame and and they light up black horn fine but inherently they tend to still leak some don't but most have a still the primers leak a little bit and to some that's no big deal then guy moves a step further he really gets tired of cleaning everything back in your firing pin filling your firing pin up with with uh, carbon and flash and and uh, this mess clean up. So, going off the smokeless, we we started using, as you know, they went to vent liners and the savages, and then we started using tungsten carbide bushings, and that was the answer, you know, to the. And then they went to the modules. Well, kind of to get caught in between. I'm offering something here that I think is pretty cool for the guy that's got a factory TC Omega or an old style Encore that's got a hex head breech plug. And I'm going to use these little, so I can show it here. You'll notice that this part is black. And I'll just tell you going forward, every one of them may not come black. But this one, I sent some out for nitride. Just check it out. It looked pretty cool. It's 17-4 stainless. It's hardened. The breech plug itself is going to withstand anything. and So it's not necessary. But it does look kind of cool. But you see it's got a hex. The 209 primer pocket in the front is about 40,000 deeper than the factory Omega plug. They do not press in this. They set in there just like your factory plug so you can easily install primer, the 209 primer removal. Um, so reason this is a, was made for a couple reasons. To be able to factory, to custom fit that breech plug in a TC Omega or an older Encore that has that hex head on it, the plug needs to be a little longer and then you actually need to machine it to fit that particular gun so you can have a compression, uh, a press fit, or a, um, let me say that difference, um, a little bit of compression on the 209 primer length, so you actually smash the primer three to five thousandths. So this plug will come, if a guy orders one, they're 30 thousandths too long. Some guys want, they have a lathe or access to somebody, and they can custom fit that in their gun to get three to five thousandths crush on the primer, and it'll seal the gun up completely. Um, done some optimized this it has a 5:30 second um, flash or flame channel 
which gives a volume that takes some pressure off of 209. Then this plug utilizes a tungsten carbide bushing that is a quarter inch diameter and a quarter inch long and will be available at 30 thousandths in diameter hole in it. And can get them with 35, we're going to go to 30, something new, but um, there's a little bushing. It's just a little quarter inch long, quarter inch diameter barrel that has a little bit, you know, maybe get it lined up right. Let me see if we can get my shirt. Um, you see through it. It's got a little hole. 30 thousandths. This goes in the breech plug into a pocket and then it's got a little um, hollow set Allen screw that's um, 5 16 24 and it's going to thread right into the end of this you put a little blue Loctite on it the way I do them it's going to thread in there I don't have an Allen wrench with me I should have but anyway that's going to thread right down in the front of that and it'll go down flush and it'll hold that bushing in place so basically what you have is a plug that's going to last a lifetime the face is perfect and some of the guns may be a little bit flame cut in the front and there's not much you can do with that but wrap that with teflon tape put a little oil on it run it in there it's going to seal up the the um, 532nd flame channel you clean the carbon out of it i recommend every 20 25 shots that bushing will literally last a lifetime of guys shooting most guys some guys that shoot hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shots with black horn you may have to change that bushing the bushing is replaceable you just heat the plug up a little bit screw the set screw out knock the bushing out put a new one in it put it back together it's good to go so if anybody's interested in that here's here's how it works i can send you that ready to go i'll leave the parts out of it because you need to machine it but you cut it to length to get you know the the right crush on your 209 primer of your choice whether you use a Winchester or Federal I recommend the Federal or the CCI but Federal is my preferred primer and you machine it to fit that plug assembly shipped to your door is eighty dollars bushing and everything if you need a replacement bushing they're readily available for thirty one bucks um, if you want and many probably majority of the people do this. You can send me your barrel action, so your barrel and your trigger assembly. I don't need, I don't want the scope or uh, stock or any of that. Obviously, it cuts down on expenses shipping it, insuring it, chances of damage. You basically send just the barrel and the trigger assembly, and I will fit that plug in your gun with the right crush for the primer you want to use for $125. So you send me that, I'll put the plug in it, ship the whole deal back to you for $125. That includes return shipping and insurance. Um, Nick, if they want to go a little further, being to got it, uh, it's available, and I do a lot of the triggers on the TC Omegas. If you add twenty-five dollars out, I can take your trigger from four, five, six pounds. I can take it down to a nice two-pound trigger, which is definitely helps accuracy. So a lot of guys are going to ask this question: Does this make my gun more accurate? Probably not. It's going to seal it up. You're going to get better ignition, cold weather. You're going to get more consistent velocities. And it probably will help your gun some, but if you got a terrible load and you're trying to shove a power belt or something down the barrel and you want it to shoot outstanding with black horn powder, you're wasting your time. Um, that's my opinion. There's loads you can go to that will shoot, and that's that's a whole other subject. But this is going to seal the primer, easier cleanup, and better ignition in cold weather, and it's going to last and last, and you don't have to worry about the flash hole burning out, and then accuracy going downhill. So... Many of you may have a gun that's not shooting well, and it could be very well because the flame, the flash holes burn out. And my belief is once it gets too big, it, the primer itself lifts the bullet off the powder if it's not tight enough, and then you get very inconsistent pressures and velocities. So if you're interested in that, you can contact me via email, which is fisk, F-I-S-K, 1967 at gmail.com. And again, thank you for your time. Hopefully this helps somebody out. And um, God bless you and have a good evening. Bye.